Once you're on the rooftop, open the box and remove the gutter lengths and corner sections. Place the lengths and corners around the base of the fan. If necessary, cut the trough lengths to the width of the fan curbing. Use a suitable saw or sawzall for cutting PVC. On occasion, it may be necessary to mount the grease gutter underneath obstructions, such as electrical switch boxes or a hinge kit. Remember, the main objective is to mount the unit in a location that will catch the flow of grease from the fan and keep the grease from reaching the roof. If you have to mount the grease gutter below an obstruction, it is essential to run a bead of sealant at the top of the gutter flashing. Before you begin the installation, it's important to thoroughly clean the fan curb so that the sealant will adhere properly. Now it's time to assemble the first trough and corner. Slide a trough length into a corner until it stops. Then, apply a generous amount of sealant to the back of this assembly. Hold the assembly together and tuck it under the fan base. Once you have it positioned, fasten the first self-tapping screw through the overlapping areas of the trough and corner. Next, level the trough and fasten it to the fan curb, leaving at least 8 inches for mounting the next corner. Now, assemble another trough and corner, making sure the trough makes contact with the very edge of the corner. Again, apply sealant to the back of the entire assembly. Slide the corner into the trough that is fastened to the fan curb and make sure it's all the way in. Place a screw in the overlapping corner section to hold it in place. Then level the assembly and screw it to the fan curb, again, leaving at least 8 inches for the next corner. Continue this process with the remaining troughs and corners until the grease gutter is completely installed, level to the curb under the fan base. Don't worry about applying too much sealant on the trough flashing. The sealant will ensure that no grease will seep behind the unit after installation. Also, be sure that all the screws are evenly spaced around the unit so that thermal expansion is reduced. After all the troughs and corner sections are installed around the fan, you may want to use the remaining sealant to seal off the drainage holes and seams under the heaviest discharge areas of the fan. This will help to prevent leaks. However, do not seal off all the drainage holes because the system will not drain properly. 